This is Baron the Bear, and uh, this is going to be an officer uh, guide video. And uh, I pretty much got all the officers, except for I think one. That's the green one. Uh, how I how I handle the officers is uh, uh, it really depends. You know, if you have if you have a quite a quite a bunch of the officers. Uh, you can really afford to sell off your greens and in, in a little bit I'll explain why you want to sell your greens uh, but first we'll go into uh, the basic functions in the game uh, you know gathering resources uh, you have two officers you got the purple which is the best and the blue which is the second best all right, I got both of those and if you notice I got a three star here and he's got two gathering skills now what I do is uh, as for the moment I, I I've kept those at level one because I can swap them out you know if I want to gather steel or I want to gather minerals I could swap those out and get another three percent on something else so Instead of committing to that skill and leveling it up, I'm keeping that level one right now because I might change my mind later, and uh, I might need another another type of gathering skill. So uh, we'll go into management. Here we go. Uh, research officers really don't put nothing in in as far as skills wise when I add skills. Haven't done much of anything with the research officers uh, except for uh, the transport tax you know I do have two transport taxes so if I was gonna give people you know resources in my alliance I put transport tax reduction in my research officers so I could swap those two out and that almost gives me a 5% transport tax and this one down here uh, 3% Okay, it's an eight percent reduction, so that's, that's not too bad. You know, if, you know that might save about almost about a hundred thousand. If you send someone a million resources, that might save about a hundred thousand resources. You know, you won't get taxed, so but it's a little bit of help. But mainly, what I use, I just use my research just for the the research. I do use my construction. I'll change. I'll remove these. And I'll, like if I want to build in construction, alright. These are my two construction officers. Now what I've done here is, is I've given them skills, uh, resource output, alright. So when I go offline, I switch back to my construction officers. And, uh, uh, through, for the time I'm offline, uh, the the resources that that are you know get built up in my base will be increased. I've been using steel right now. I do have others, but I've been using the steel ones right now because I'm really low on steel. So I'm hoping that's that'll help me out a little bit. Uh, let's see if I got this. I can show you. Okay. I see this down here. You know the one on the on the left. Now when I hit that. Harvest use this to get six hours worth of output from all your resource buildings. Now, since I got these two generals, okay, and 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 appointed, since they have uh, out output boost, that's going to add on to the skill. So every six hours, when you use the skill, you want to put officers to have output boost. And appoint those, you'll get more. Now, watch what I'll get here. Okay, I got 415 oil, 32,000 steel, 327 food. That's pretty decent for a level 19. Alright, so let's go back to the officers. Let's go to manage. So that's basically it for the, the director officers, you know. I use my construction officers for a res resource output, and I leave them appointed when I'm offline you know uh, when I'm trying to gather re resources I'll, I'll click on my resource gathering 
uh, genitals. And the important thing is, is when you go out, you know, when I go to tile and I land on somewhere, I want to make sure I leave those resource generals appointed until my troops actually land on these tiles. If I change my my general my officers out before my troops land on that tile, it won't get a bonus to gather. So it's important to wait until your troops land on tiles, and then you remove your resource, uh, your your gathering officers. Let's go back. Let's go to strategy. Now what I've done with strategy is whenever I'm out attacking monsters, I put my max fleet officers in. And the reason why the logic I'm using for that is the more troops you have in a march, the more damage you're going to do, the higher the potential of the monsters that you're going to be able to kill. So having the max fleet officers, and if you look, I got both of those have, these are hard to get, you know, I mean, these skills are not the easiest to get. Uh, I got XP for monsters from both of those, alright. I got a little over 7% increase to XP, it's not too bad. And I have, and then the, the last skill that there, I, I put monster attack speed, this gives you a little bit of boost. I haven't leveled that one up. I've leveled the XP the monster to level 10. Okay. Uh, and the reason why you don't want to, you don't want to, you want to be careful what skills you, you level up because when you dismantle them, you, you know, uh, when you when you forget the skill, you know, you you, uh, you still keep that skill, but that skill goes back to level one, so you lose. You'll get some skill books back, but you won't get that much. So, you know, you're going to lose skill books, you know, leveling your skills if you decide to change your skills on officers. So, my advice is to always keep your skills on officers, officers level 1 until you're absolutely certain that's what you're going to keep on your officer. Recruitment speed. Okay, let's switch them out so you can see them easier. Right here, okay, this is the two re recruitment officers what I've used. Now as you can see their skills, if you look at it, single recruitment unit max, all right? Single recruitment unit max, both of those officers, that gives an increase to how many troops I can train. So right there, it's about 108 added troops I can train every time I train. Now, another thing you have to realize, too, when you have skills, you can't add the same duplicate skill in. You know, it won't let you do that. You have to have different skills uh, for each officer. You know. So I put the recruitment in for the uh, maximum amounts for the recruitment speed. Then I left it. Here's what I did, too. Check this out. I, went, I added mobility recovery speeds to when I go out monster hunting. Now, if you think, now before, just remember, I had max fleet. Okay, Max Fleet has my experience for monsters. What I do is I'll, you know, kick on the Max Fleet, get larger march, go out, kill the monsters, get the experience. Okay, once my mobility goes down from 100 to 0 and I'm done monster hunt, hunting, I'll switch to these generals. Okay, I'll put my recruitment generals in, and they'll have a mobility recovery at 3.7. That's almost 2. That's, that's almost... That's like five, six percent increase of my of my uh, recovery speed. Now I haven't leveled those up yet, so it would even be more than that. Probably would be a ten percent increase. But I haven't decided what you know if that's the best bet to keep them in there. But still, even still, seven percent right now, better than nothing, you know. So I'm not using it for nothing else. So that's what that's basically max wounded. All right, that's the other skill officers for strategy and the whole concept of the max wounded i think is what's good about that is it's good for uh that's good for if you're if you're if you're offline you know you know if you if you're worried about being attacked when you're offline and you're losing troops if you look at these two here right max wounded right here i got a 17 percent 
other max food in eight per, eighteen eight and eight percent. That's twenty five percent more wounded. Okay, so let's say I have a hundred thousand hospital beds. All right, those two generals I put in when I before I log off. If I would get hit, it would give me one hundred twenty five thousand hospital beds. That's an extra twenty five percent. That's an extra twenty five thousand troops. I would get. I could. I could save. Yeah. That they're T seven, T eight troops. That's. That's a big help. So don't underestimate the the max wounded generals. You know, if you're worried about getting attacked when you're offline, don't forget to set those generals because, you know, you could. Another possibility there too, you could do the max wounded generals, and you could throw those uh, mobility recovery speeds under those generals. So I mean that that's a possibility there. I haven't really thought about that, but I might do that instead too. I mean, I still got them level one, so I could change them out. Okay, now we're gonna go to warfare. I'm gonna try to keep this short. Okay, if you look at these officers here, seeing all troops attack. Melee troops attack. Attacking armies attack. Okay, he's a new one. All troops attack. All troops defense and hit points. Defending armies. Armies hit attack and hit points. Okay, if you look at it, defending armies attack and hit points. Whenever you see defending army and then it gives you a boost, that's that's in regards to uh, uh, if you're attacked. You know. So, if, like I said once again, if you're offline and you're worried about being attacked, you know, when you get offline, you can swap in some of these generals that have a defending boost. You know. uh, damage taken from all troops, minus 4.275%. She's at level 1. I haven't leveled her, up, leveled her up yet. That's the new officer. Let's click on her. It's Alexandria. It's one of the new ones. Okay, so damage taken from all troops. I mean, it's almost a 5%. She's still at level 1. I'm not sure. I haven't really raised her up yet. I'm trying to, to get uh, you know, the, the, the materials I need to level up some of my officers. But uh, that's a big help you know, re to reduce damage. So you know, if you're offline, you know, it's going to help re reduce damage taken from you. And that's going to mean less, you know, less troops being lost. And hopefully you'll get back online in time enough to save the rest of your army. You know? So she would be good for the, the wounded officers you know, in, co in combination. Okay, we go back up with the advanced kill all troops. All right. When it says all troops, th those are bonuses for attacking and defending. Those are the best, in my opinion. You know, if you see, especially if they're purple, you know, uh, if they have, uh, if, if, if the skills are basically used all the time, that might be the ones you might want to leave, you might want to leave those officers in. And that's how I got it set up right now, is I got, you know, I got all troops attack, long range attack, all right, and melee troop attack. I'm I'm basically focused on on a front line and a back line. All right. I want a meat shield in my front. I want the melee troops to be strong, can do some damage, and can take some, you know, damage. I want uh, just enough to keep the enemy away from hitting my back troops as much as possible. So I focus uh, when I when I attack and my my setup. I focus on the front line and the back line. Not to say you can't focus on the, on a second on the, on the, in the middle one. All right. So if you look, you can see how my skills are all set up that way: melee troop attack, melee troop defense, attack armies hit points, and and, a, and attack long range attack, long range troop attack. I mean, uh, increased damage. He's 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 the other new one. All right, Zeus. Uh, he's he's at level thirteen. I got him at level thirteen. He's almost a 6% increase in damage. Not just attacking, not just defense. It's for everything. So, 
that's a huge jump right there. Six percent damage for all your troops. Not melee, not middle range, not long range. All. Now I got a uh, butterfly here. She's almost uh, five stars. Now in the beginning of the game, you have an event. Okay. A bunch of different events, the different phases you go through. Well, some of those rewards will give you like 40 butterfly fragments. You know. I think after everything I said and done, I had like 148. You know, after I did some of those events, I had like 148 butterfly flight fragments. So I saved her because the, 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 the important thing to understand about the blue officers versus the, the, the purple is... Uh, You'll get more fragments for the blue, you know. So the purple are, are extremely more rare to get. So you're not going to be able to get raise their star levels as fast as those blues. So you, that's why I never sell my blues because if I get five stars, look at her right now. She's got all these. She's got three skills. She's halfway to halfway from a full star for the last skill. So in all, once she's at maxed five star. She'll have five skills, you know, and that's a pretty nice chunk of bonuses for one officer. She's got melee troop defense, melee troop attack, melee, melee troop hit points. Notice how I'm focusing on only on melee, and I have long range. I'm not trying to do just, I'm not trying to do my the middle range too. You, you, the key is when you when you when you set up your 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 skills your skills boost. For officers and your basic troops, you can't focus on them all. You know, if you focus on all your units, um, they'll be okay and overall, you know. But you're not going to be able to really enhance the strengths of certain units if you if you if you got the boost on everything. Okay, so here's some more here down here. As you can look, you know, I got I got quite a bit of them. I don't really use these here, you know, as much. Um, attacking armies and all troops defense and hit point. I'm still up, up on the fence on these. Uh, I haven't sold any of them, but I'll show you here how many stars I got. I got 145, I mean, 145 big dog fragments, all right? He's still at level one. I'm holding on to him because I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to really use him or not. If I don't use them, I can always sell those. So now I'm going to take you to the last part. This is the important part. All right, exchange exchange stool. Okay, here's where some people, if you're if you're, you know, pay to play player, you can spend a lot of money. You might be able to afford, you know, you buy a bunch of, you know, officer packs and you can sell off your officers and you you can you know you get. A whole bunch of, uh, of of these you know silver coins and and you can buy these purple ones okay but you're free to play player. My advice is don't waste three thousand coins on a purple. All right, get the thousand blues, you know, and not just get any of the of the blues, but get the ones that you know you can star up or that's important to you. Like the hacker, he's in research. You know, I always buy him. When uh, when I see him, you know, uh, Godfather, he's a, a, a max fleet, so he's going to make your army stronger. So those two and uh, Sergeant Barney, he's in for recruitment, so he can help speed up your troops. So what I do is I see the blues I got here. All right, okay, you know I see them. I go back to my officers. And I look, okay, here's Barney. Let's see what he's got to start up. 14, 24. I need 10 more. Mm, I might not buy that one. Let's go to someone else here. Okay, the research guy. Here he is. Hacker. Let's see how many stars he's got. 22, 24. Okay, I'm going to buy that one. All right, if I buy that one, he'll be at 23, 24. I'll need one more. So I'm going get, to get that one. It's going to open up... A part of a star for me. It's gonna boost up his skills. Who else was there? It was the Max Fleet guy. 
Let's look at him. Let's we'll see he got star up. 824. You know, that's a good ways away still too. Alright, so. What I would do in this situation. Um, you know, I got 6,000. You know, I probably would avoid buying all these except for the hacker guy. And that's why if you look, it's a grayed out. already bought them. Alright. That was the best bet. Because the idea is you want to star up, you know. You don't want to waste that thousand coins on an, on a general that you need 16 more fragments to get unlocked to another star or, or half of a star or something, you know. You want to you use them those coins on a general, you need only one or two fragments to, to, to boost to another star level. All right, now, say since now, I you know, I got 22 out of 24 for hacker. All right. If I want to, I can hit refresh. Nope, I didn't get another hacker. I got a butterfly and I got a ginger. So let's go back and see what I got here. Butterfly and a ginger. All right, there's ginger. 1124. Hmm. What's butterfly at? 9.48. Not too tempting. But I might buy the ginger because, you know, she's almost, if you look, she's almost four stars. One more, one more star up, she's going to be four star. And I need 13 more of those. So I'm going to buy that real quick. Okay. I recommend upgrading your, your construction and your research officers because the longer into the game, the higher the level uh, upgrades, the, the, the harder they are. I mean, the times will get longer and longer, so the, those generals really help. Now I'll try to sell. I'll show you. what. Okay, see the greens I have, you know. I'll just sell them. I won't, I won't, even, I won't, I won't even think twice. I'll just, I'll just, they're gone. You know, they're fodder units for me. Now you might want to keep them in, until you have better, better generals. But once you get blues and purples, and you don't even use a green, just sell them. All right, that's it. Back to seven thousand five hundred. So you do that every day. All right, and then I could go back and I can exchange again if I want. And maybe find another uh, research general again. But it's no big rush. I usually don't, you know, refresh this that much. And just try to cycle through it every day and just pick them up as I go. Well, that's uh, the basics of uh, officers. Uh, if you have any questions about, uh, about my setup with the officers, uh, just let me know in the post. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.